Hi, this is Dr. Bharadwa, CEO and Chief Doctor of Fidika's Homeopathy. Topic for the day is, these are the questions, FAQs from the patient. What exactly the patients are asking is, so what is the scope of homeopathy in case of osteoarthritis of knee? So how homeopathy can help, whether homeopathy can cure the knee completely or what happens exactly, we will look into them. So before we understand that, we have to understand the stages of the osteoarthritis of knee. There are four stages in osteoarthritis of knee. We will be dividing into two categories. So stage one and stage 2 into first category, stage 3 and stage 4 into second category. In stage 1 and stage 2 what happens is there will be damage to the cartilage and there will be small osteophytes. Osteophytes are the bony growths. You will have one or two bony growths within the bone of the knee. So other than these two changes you will not see any other changes in the first or second stage of osteoarthritis. So what is the normal treatment? Normal treatment or conventional treatment or allopathic treatment is or English medicine you call. So what is the treatment? You have painkillers at this stage, you have steroids at this stage and you have PRP treatment at this stage. So these are all have side effects. Painkillers will have side effects like it can damage your kidney, it can damage your liver, it irritates your stomach and you will have a lot of side effects. You have dependency formation with this painkillers and also you have PRP. It is a painful procedure and also it's a invasive procedure. Coming to steroids, you have a lot of disadvantages with steroids. It, it will lower your immunity. So there are a lot of other disadvantages when you go for allopathic treatment. So in this stage, in the first stage or the second stage, so there is high chance with homeopathy that you can again regenerate your the damaged cartilage completely. There is high chances. Coming to the third stage or fourth stage of osteoarthritis, normally allopathic people or English medicine people will suggest you to go for the surgery. So at this stage, what happens is there will be severe damage to the cartilage, the bone is damaged, there are multiple osteophytes or bony growths, the capsule means a bag-like structure which covers your complete knee is also thickened. The synovial fluid, the fluid which is present within the joint, which is viscous, the quantity of it is reduced and also the joint space is narrowed. There is decreased joint space and also sometimes there can be, there is a structure called meniscus. It is a small disc-like structure. There will be damages to that structure. In severe cases of osteoarthritis, ligaments are completely degenerated and also some degenerative changes you can find in the ligaments. This is the third or fourth stage. In this stage, uh, in allopathy, other than surgery, you don't have any other treatment, but homeopathy has a very good scope in this particular stage. So what homeopathy does is, it can regenerate your cartilage to some extent. It can reduce the osteophytes to some extent. It can minimize the damages that has done to the capsule. It has ability to regenerate synovial fluid again to some extent. It may not happen in all people. To some extent, it can regenerate. The synovial fluid can come back to some extent. In this stage, homeopathy can slow down the damage that is going to be done for cartilage, bone, capsule, synovial fluid, joint space, meniscus, ligaments and tendons. So there is, you have a chance that you cannot regenerate completely, but this can be regenerated to a minimum extent. So what homeopathy can do in this stage is it can prevent you from going to the surgery. The degenerative changes are slowed down and sometimes it can be uh, slightly regenerated and homeopathy can mostly in 95% of the cases, homeopathy can ensure that you, you are not going to surgery and you can maintain your joint health and joint pains without going for surgery throughout your life. For that, you have to take the medicine throughout your life so that uh, homeopathy can ensure that you will not go into uh, serious conditions. Basically, here what we do is we will reduce the pain. By reducing the pain, we can uh, avoid surgery in such type of cases. Out of 100 people who come to us with third and fourth stages of osteoarthritis, for about 90% of the people will not be landing into surgery if you take homeopathy treatment. When you are in third or fourth stage, the homeopathy treatment has to be taken for lifelong. Yeah, and coming to the risk factors. So, uh, which type of people have higher chances of recovering from osteoarthritis and who has lower chances of uh, recovering from osteoarthritis? It again depends on their risk factors. For example, it, it depends on the age. If you are young, you have more chances of re recovering from osteoarthritis than compared to the old people. And what is the duration? If your osteoarthritis has started recently, you have more chances for recovering than the people who are suffering from very long time. So associated diseases like diabetes or uh, hypertension or uh, hypothyroid or obesity, people who are not having these risk factors, we have high chances of recovering than compared to people who have these uh, risk factors. And other things like your uh, habits like your diet, are you taking healthy diet? Are you taking enough sleep per day? Are you exercising every day? Uh, are you in a stress-free life? So if you are having all these risk factors, 
so it will take some more time for you to recover the people who are taking healthy diet will have high chances of recovering from osteoarthritis the people who sleep well have high chance of recovering from osteoarthritis the people who exercise every day has high chances of recovering from osteoarthritis the people who live stress-free life have high chances of recovering from osteoarthritis than compared to the people who doesn't have good diet or who doesn't have good sleep exercise or stress-free life and one more thing is what about the people who have underwent surgery but still have pain even in such cases homeopathy has very good scope you, you have underwent surgery and the surgery was not successful you have still feeling pain so in that case also homeopathy can help you in a very good manner we can reduce your pain there is no need for you to go for resurgery so we can maintain you without going for resurgery we can reduce your pain and we can ensure that you lead a happy with us two type of treatment is available you can either consult us online online treatment means we'll be taking your case through audio or video call and we'll be shipping your medicines to your place so that you can use them and in person means you can directly come to the clinic and get treated thank you